10 tips for Ingolstadt. Ingolstadt, with its more than 135,000 inhabitants, is the second largest city in Upper Bavaria after Munich. It is one of the fastest growing cities in Germany and, along with Wolfsburg, the only city in Germany to become a major city after the Second World War, 1989. A booming automobile industry provides the city treasury with enormous revenues through Audi, which in turn generates further infrastructure and industry. In short, the people of Ingolstadt are doing well financially. A prospering technical university is rejuvenating the city's public with students. This creates an extremely interesting cultural and gastronomic offer, which does not have to hide behind other cities. In terms of tourism, however, Ingolstadt still leads a somewhat shadowy existence. Located on the A9 between Munich and Nuremberg, it is often overlooked. Yet a stay in the city on the Danube is well worth it. 400 years of fortification, a largely undestroyed old town and some magnificent cultural treasures should make you sit up and take notice. Did you know, for example, that the first Bavarian university was founded in Ingolstadt? Or that the notorious Illuminati order was founded by a native of Ingolstadt? Here are 10 tips for your stay in Ingolstadt. The Assam Church of Maria de Victoria. Built from 1732 to 1736, initially as an oratory for the Marian congregation of students, this treasure chest, inconspicuous from the outside, has a stunning ceiling painting inside. Built by Bavaria's greatest Baroque artist Cosmas Damian Assam at the height of his creative powers, it depicts the incarnation of Christ. Enjoy a view from different perspectives. Next. Be sure to check out the Lepanto Monstrance in the Cathedral Treasury Museum. It depicts the naval battle of Lepanto, victory of the Christians over the Turks. Not a few connoisseurs consider it to be the most valuable of all with its richness of detail. Red Wee Tilly with Clens Park. Once built as a fortress to protect the bridgehead, today it serves as a magnificent photo backdrop and museum of the First World War. The adjoining Clens Park is an inviting place for a stroll. A varied park with meadows, a plant labyrinth and water features relaxes not only the stressed tourist. Also the common Ingolstadt citizen finds relaxation here. Audi Forum. Ingolstadt without Audi is of course not possible. The group shapes the Bavarian metropolis on the Danube. A visit to the Audi Forum is therefore almost a must. Of course, the global corporation shows its best side at its headquarters. During a factory tour or a visit to the Audi Museum, you can learn a lot about the car brand with the four rings and still have a lot of fun. New Castle The foundation stone for the New Castle was laid in 1418. It replaced the Herzogskasten, more later, which used to be the old castle of Ingolstadt. Even from the outside, you can quickly see that the New Castle was mainly used for defense. A testimony to this are the cannons, which can still be admired in the courtyard of the castle. Some of them weigh almost 10,000 pounds. The new palace is certainly one of the most important secular buildings in Bavaria. Today it houses the Bavarian Army Museum. Ingolstadt Village. Just outside the center of Ingolstadt lies Ingolstadt Village. A shopping area for everyone who likes to buy lifestyle and fashion brands at low prices. Well over 1,000 free parking spaces and a rich gastronomic offer leave nothing to be desired. The area with over 100 stores looks very well maintained and is always worth a visit. German Museum of Medical History A widely unknown gem is the German Museum of Medical History in Ingolstadt. It is located in the middle of the city and is architecturally a very beautiful Baroque building. The museum gives a very good insight into the development of medicine. The current renovation work should be completed soon. The medicinal plant garden and the scent and touch garden are wonderful. The visit is rounded off with a visit to Café Hortus Medicus for coffee and cake with a view of Ingolstadt Cathedral. Cathedral of Our Lady. Work on the cathedral began in 1425 and was not completed until a hundred years later. The minster gives its defining stamp to the cityscape of Ingolstadt. Particularly striking are the huge roof truss and the overcorner position of the two unfinished towers. Inside there are very beautiful stained glass windows and an altar worth seeing from 1572, a donation for the 100th anniversary of the university. City Walk. On a city tour you can explore Ingolstadt well on foot. As a starting point you can take the Kreuzdorf, Crossgate, the landmark of the city. 
The gate, which has bay windows and superstructures, is the only remaining city gate and part of Ingolstadt's city wall. Further into the city, pedestrian zones invite you to stroll. Many cafes and bars and the usual shopping stores offer what a city dweller may expect. If your stomach is rumbling, you should visit the restaurant Creative in Dolstrasse. Polish home cooking very imaginative and especially fresh. Price performance ratio absolutely okay. We can also recommend the Weissbrauhaus zum Hernbrau. It offers down-to-earth cuisine in a brewery atmosphere. A detour to the old town hall and the Ickstadt house should definitely be made. Johann Adam Freiherr von Ickstadt lived in the latter. A reformer of the Bavarian school system, idea of the secondary school, and godfather of Johann Adam Weishaupt, the founder of the Illuminati order founded in Ingolstadt. Known to many readers through the book Illuminati by Dan Brown. Another tip is the Church of Moritz with its whistle tower. You can climb it and have a wonderful view over Ingolstadt. Herzogskasten, the Duke's box. Until the construction of the new castle in the 15th century, the Herzogskasten served as the residence of the Ingolstadt Dukes. It was part of the castle complex and is the oldest secular building in Ingolstadt. Today it serves the citizens of Ingolstadt as a municipal library. There is an extensive collection of books and audios on six floors. An area for events and a cafe with an extensive selection of newspapers and journals invite you to linger. Festival of Pure Beer. Our last tip is the annual Festival of Pure Beer, which takes place in April. It commemorates the proclamation of the Bavarian Purity Law in Ingolstadt in 1516. The whole town is on its feet. Jugglers, bards and showmen give the festival a medieval flair. A wide range of music for all tastes and Epicurean food, in addition to the beer, create an excellent atmosphere among the guests. Conclusion. Anyone who reduces Ingolstadt to Audi does the city an injustice. The city on the Danube has a rich history and some cultural treasures to offer, which are really worth seeing. Instead of traveling to Munich or Nuremberg for the umpteenth time, you should consider visiting Ingolstadt. A guaranteed relaxing stay in this beautiful Bavarian city will surely remain in your memory for a long time.